everyone! Today I want to show you how you can make this really fun macrame pattern using vertical lark's head knots and beads. Before we get started, I want to let you all know that I recently released my brand new macrame guides. There's a lot of great information inside these guides, so please check out the link in the description to learn more. Now, let's get started. Start by attaching three ropes to your dowel rod with a lark's head knot. Now, take the two cords here on the far left, and with these two cords, I'm going to tie the farthest left cord around the next cord with a vertical lark's head knot. Now take the two cords on the far right side and repeat the same knot, taking the right cord to tie the knot. Now take a bead and we're going to slide this bead onto the two cords in the middle. Now take the middle left cord and tie it around the cord next to it using another vertical lark's head knot. Repeat with the next cord in the middle to tie around the cord to the right of it. Now once again we're going to tie the far left cord around the cord next to it. This time when we tie our vertical arcs and knot, we're going to leave about two finger widths of space before we tie the knot. Now do the same on the right side and match the placement of the lark's head knot with the side here on the left. Now take each lark's head knot and just push it up towards the previous one. fun little loops off to the side. Now take another bead and once again slide it onto the two cords in the middle. Now we're going to repeat tying our vertical arc head knots with the two middle cords, starting with the one on the left to tie around the cord to the left of it. Now we're going to repeat our little loops. So once again, try to leave about two finger widths of space before you tie that first vertical lark's head knot. Now match the right side with the previous knot. Push both knots up top towards the last lark's head knot. Just like that. And we just repeat the whole pattern once again.
just wanted to show you guys a little example of what it looks like if you don't add the extra space to make those big loops. So when you tie your lark's head knot, you are just going to put it right underneath that last one. Okay, and this is going to eliminate those bigger loops. You'll still get a little loop, but not as big. So that is totally a personal preference on if you like the added loops or not. Totally a personal preference once again if you like the look of the loops or if you like a more minimalistic look. You can also leave out the beads if you wish or you could even switch them out for a berry knot. You guys can use this pattern in your macrame wall hangings, okay? You can use this as panels, you can make it layers or anything else. You can also use this for plant hangers or using smaller rope, you could turn this design into a keychain. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and inspiring and thank you so much for watching.